hi guys I'll be showing you how to prepare your yam for planting in sack farm we are going to do two things one is how to get yam mini seed and how to plant your yam directly without having the mini seed from an existing tuber of yam like this so the tuber of yam that you are to choose for planting should at least germinate like what you're seeing here should have broken dormancy and how you need to do it is get your knife and cut at least about five inches away from the head so if you cut at around this point it's going to be fine so that's it I'm going to show you how to plant this to have a very bountiful harvest and I'm also going to show you how I'm going to prepare this to have yam mini sets so that's it I'm going to do the other videos in as well so we are going to have our mini sets from here to have our yam seedlings for planting next year I'm going to explain do a whole lot of explanation on that so you understand you know like this now we can decide to plant this and have a whole tuber of yam a big tuber of yam as big as this but with the mini sets we're not going to have we are not going to have something as big as this tuber of yam but we are still going to have yam that we can use to plant for the next season so what we are going to do now is in a situation that you don't have the capital to buy plenty of this to plant next year you can start this year to get as many yam as possible that you want to plant next year even if you want to start like 1000 2000 or 10000 yams you can use this method to have as many of such to plant so what you do is you are going to cut at least about three three inches this is about six inches apart so you we are going to cut about three inches here and the type of yam that you choose should be yam that does not have any insect attack or diseases and you can see these ones it still has the eyes if you look closely you see the eyes that germination can happen the same thing here the type of yam that you should choose should not have any insect attack or you can see if i peel this this skin out you see that it does not have any infected insect attack or infestation so this is what can germinate easily so this is how you prepare it you cut it like this and then you now cut it again you can use any yam any color of yam for this With this, after this, I'm going to show you the next step to take. You can dip this in ash solution or you spray it with any insecticide that you have and you can actually proceed to planting this in the soil. And I'm going to show you how to do that in sack farming. So you can actually have as many yam as possible in your sack farming. And I'm also going to show you how to plant this in sack farming. So you see how it is done so I'm going to add my insecticide a little quantity of it to this water and stay ah it's even too much then I'm going to soak my 
mini set yam mini set in, in this solution for about 10 to 15 minutes if you don't have insecticide you can use wood ash dissolve the solution in water and put in your yam mini set after that we are moving straight to the farm and i'll show you how that is done today we are planting our yam in sacks this is the yam we are going to plant the one that will give us full yam and these are the ones we call uh, yam mini set you are going to see i'm going to propagate it i'm propagating it in about two sacks all of these three to one and two to one you can plant it all at once if you want but i want it to germinate first before i'll eventually move it to the permanent sack i'll be planting i'll explain the usefulness of the yam mini set in the class so you can see how i filled up my sack this is the sack and i filled it up up to some extent much higher than when planting corn and any other thing and i still leave some space so this is how i'm going to do it i'll pick up my yam and i create a hole right in the middle of it and if you can see the yam has started germinating already you can notice this this is germinating already and if the the germination uh, hand is coming out well i'll not have to lay it completely but since it is still coming out i'll have to cover it and i'll still have to cover this with sand that is why i did not fill it up to the brim so i'll still cover it with sand small then it, as time goes on when it has germinated out i'll still pour in some manure and every other thing and fill the sack up to a point maybe completely to the brim but as for now i'm just going to add maybe a, one shovel of sand to cover it more than this so this head doesn't show at all and the germination will come out from the soil So at this point, like it is completely covered, I'll keep this remaining space for when the yam germinates, any other soil or manure I need to fill in for it to grow well will consume this remaining space. So that's that for the main yam. The next one is planting the mini set. The mini set, like I said, I'm going to, you can see between here and here, you can see the level of soil. If you are planting it completely at once, you don't need to use this small sand kind of. But me, I'm propagating it at the moment. Since I'm propagating it, I'll leave it to germinate before I move it to individual sacks. So, what you do is you pick your yam mini set that has been treated in either so, uh, ash solution wood ash solution or insecticide and you put it this way you create a space in the bag put it this way put the next one this way not completely buried put this one this way and i'm still going to cover it with a layer of sand maybe about two inches or thereabout so at this point i'll water it and leave it to germinate once it germinates i'll then move it to one yam one sack but at the moment i'm just propagating it but if you want to plant it your own you can plant it just one yam mini set one sack directly you don't need to be transplanting so as it germinates we are still going to show you 
the progress and you get to see how it is going these are the things we planted before the corn you can see the corn is germinating and it looks so beautiful after you've placed them at where you want them to be you now water it and that's how simple it is to plant your yam in sacks once it starts germinating we will follow up on the next line of action to take so you can have as many yam bags as possible with this method and it's very simple and easy So this is where we had our yam sack farm and we want to harvest it. It has started drying the leaves, you can see. The leaves have started drying. So we want to see what's inside from what we've been doing. This is the moment of truth. It seems it's very big. Let's see. We planted this yam February this year. And let's see what we are going to get. These are the mini sets. The mini sets are around here. They germinated a bit late so we'll wait for the leaves to die off too these are the mini sets you can see this is one we have another one here another one here and we have one here so those are the mini sets so let's complete this Wow, <laughs> I think it's nice from sack farming and that's what we have from yam sack farming. When you check the beginning of the video, you see how it was when we planted it and how it is now. So you can go ahead and try it out by yourself. That's it. This is one of the mini sets that germinated first. So let's also see if we 
have anything in it. This is the mini set. It's supposed to be a yam seedling for next year planting. So let's see the results we are having. We are going to have here. I think it's doing well. This is another one in the same sack. It's fine. So that's the mini set and it's nice from here we can actually plant next season and have full big yam let's try this one too this one might not be really big shall because i think it germinated late but let's see Okay, this is the one that did not germinate. One of the mini seeds that did not germinate. You can see. For whatever reason, it did not germinate. And these ones, I think they germinated very late. So the result is not that much. But with this, we have a result on mini seeds. So that's it.